Julius Peppers is stepping outside his comfort zone a little bit. He was never really interested in the fame that came along with the profession that he chose. In my experience, covering him in his latter years with the Panthers, he would escape post-game locker rooms after wins a lot quicker than he would after losses because he didn't really like talking about himself in a positive sense. But he understood the leadership piece after losses. Hey, somebody needs to be here to answer some of the tough questions and not run away from them. And Peppers never really had a problem with that. He's very introverted, almost like he didn't know how great he was, which was at the core of Darren Gant's story last week when he was in Vegas and saw Peppers beaming at guys like Steve Atwater and Barry Sanders. And it hadn't really sunk in yet that Peppers is a first ballot guy. He's now immortalized along with those people. He's hesitantly now embracing the spotlight, at least for this year, because just think about these last few months. Peppers inducted into the Carolina Panthers Hall of Honor. Julius Peppers, it was announced, going into the College Football Hall of Fame later this year. Julius Peppers announced now going to Canton into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. So this is something I brought up to him when we caught up with him earlier today. Here he was on just that subject uh, and also going back to the Super Bowl this past weekend. Hey, Julius, as somebody who's been known not to really seek out the spotlight much, how have you figured out a way to enjoy a 2024 and really into 2023 that saw you go into the Hall of Honor, you're set to go into Canton, and also go into the College Football Hall of Fame this year? It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, I, I it's I really been blessed to to uh, have these things come um, right behind each other, and and you know it's been a great it's been a great uh, couple of months. So um, you know I understand that with those type of honors, certain obligations come with it. So uh, you know. Um, it, it's not my favorite thing to do to film, you know, film, you know, film all of those things for, for NFL films and stuff like that and do so much media, uh, this past weekend at the Super Bowl. but I understand that it comes with it. And, and, and this is a once in a lifetime thing. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be something where I have to do it every year. So, you know, uh, I'm fine with doing it now and, and I'm happy to do it. One more thing. Um, 20 years ago, you played in the Super Bowl and you're back on that field this past Sunday. You hear people talk about Marino and others who early in their career get there and never get a chance to go back. When you were back on that field, did you have a moment where you thought, man, I'd give up so much to be back out there and have an opportunity on this stage? Nah, I didn't actually. Um, it was great to be there. Uh, I, I, I was out there. I saw Christian and, um, you know, I was right behind that huddle and stuff like that. So um, I got to see the guys, but I don't miss being on the field at all. Mainly the preparation part of it. It Like it takes so much just to get prepared starting now. If you want to be really good, you should be starting to, you know, um, work out now and get your body in shape and stuff like that. So uh, I, I don't miss that. I don't miss that at all. So uh it was great. I saw I saw Smitty out there on the field. We took a picture together. So it was great to be around it. Um, you know, so I, I love being on the field and being around the guys and being around the atmosphere and the energy, but I don't miss the preparation part of it at all. Well said. Thanks, Joyce.